Well, um, here we are. This is a bit, uh, bit of a surreal scenario here. We, I keep expecting to find uh, Robson Green in here doing some extreme, uh, well, this is extreme cover cropping, I'm guessing. Um, we are in a field called Cobblers. It's only four hectares, um, but it was vining peas uh, for this year, or hand-picked peas rather than vining peas. Uh, prior to that, it had two and a half years of red clover and, um, and ryegrass. So uh, the peas were a way to get uh, back into the arable rotation, sprayed off with glyphosate and then direct drilled. Uh, those peas were harvested, fresh weight yield of uh, around uh, eight and a half to nine tonnes per hectare. Um, and then at the beginning of July, we planted a cover crop. Uh, this is a 16 way uh, species mix uh, from, um, well, it, kind of trying to maximize the amount of C4 plants that we can, uh, we can grow in here. Uh, so we have a lot of sunflowers, we have maize, we have millet, um, we have got uh, lots of clovers, um, there's phacelia in here, it's quite a lot of mustard, um, but this is really spectacular. It's actually alive with, uh, with bees and insects. Um, and I often get asked uh, doing sort of presentations and talks about the value of cover crops and, and where can we actually uh, capture the value of the seed. Well, this was, this was not a cheap seed mix to put in. This was 60 pounds a hectare uh, for this mix. But in terms of what it has captured, uh, on the 6th of September this year, it's now the 20th, so um, a couple of weeks ago, we uh, took some one metre square samples and we cap uh, calculated 25 tonnes per hectare of fresh weight material. Um, that equated down to 6.4 tonnes per hectare of dry matter, um, which is a significant amount of carbon. Uh, at the moment, financially, that doesn't have a value, but in a very short space of time, that position will change. Um, but then we look at uh, the nutrient analysis on that, uh, that hectare or that, that one meter square and multiply that up per hectare. Um, and we had captured in the canopy um, 270 kilograms of nitrogen. And at today's market price of 350 pounds a tonne, give or take, um, you know, we're looking at a financial value of just over 270 pounds uh, of nitrogen. If you look at phosphorus, um, at, at uh, TSP prices at sort of just under £500, £485 I was quoted the other day. Um, that's got a value only of £45 a hectare, but it's still, um, you know, that would pay for the application of actually planting the crop. And then if you look at potassium, there's 260 kilos a hectare of straight potassium in these crops at the moment. And uh, with current MO prices of £380 a tonne, that equates to £165 a hectare. So you can very quickly see how um, the value of the seed and the drilling operation can be recouped. Um, now this is, this is quite extreme, as I say, we have got um, a lot of material here. Um, my family keep telling me I'm not quite six feet tall um, and in places uh, it's uh, sort of towering above me. There's also buckwheat in here, there's linseed in here, uh, all sorts of stuff. Um, now, the, 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 the great thing about this is that we will be able to come in here with our drill. Uh, the disc drill on the cross slot will be able to chop straight through all of this material and we'll be able to plant some seeds into, uh, into this really fertile um, seed bed that these roots are, are all preparing for us. The challenge that we have going forward to manage this is to work out when these nutrients will become available and, and that is the challenge. That depends on an awful lot of things. It's a biological system, so it will depend on soil temperature, soil moisture, um, active bacteria and fungi that are in the soil to help break all this down. On the plus side, a lot of it is um, still quite lush and green, so it should be relatively readily available. Um, but you look at the sunflower stalks um, and, the, uh, and the, the, um, the mustard in here, quite a large level of lignin now. So actually those nutrients are locked up, um, which is really important when you look at the slope going down the hill here, um, the fact that we've got nutrients locked up, we've got stable soil, so we won't get any soil erosion from this field. This will all be planted uh, in the next few days. We'll have a nice carpet of dead material on top of the, uh, on top of the crops uh, as the seeds emerge, and um, that will uh, keep the soil cool, keep the moisture retained, and um, hopefully we will um, be on our way to 
having a decent crop of wheat uh, with very low fert uh, fertilizer inputs and expense next year, which is going to be absolutely crucial uh, when you think about what's happening in the fertilizer industry and the markets at the moment. So I'll give you an update um, in due course when we're drilling and we'll come back and have another look. But um, yeah, magnificent cover crops in cobblers.